Hello, my name is Emily and I did a research project on the educational impacts of economics and the importance of collaborative planning. So many people wonder what does education and the economy have in common? Well, when families are looking to relocate and move to a new community, the top three things that they look at is the jobs available, the accessibility of the town, and the success of the school district. So if a school district is not successful, then chances are those families will not relocate. If it is successful, they move there, bring new business job credentials, jobs, and they boost the economy. So what affects a school district's success? Well, of all the different options, teacher happiness and job satisfaction is the top one, one of the top ones. So how can we make an environment where teachers are, they feel fulfilled and they have a satisfaction with their job. Well, professional learning communities or the intentional collaborative planning time is one, a solution to that issue. Teachers, studies have been done that show teachers do not have enough collaborative planning time and that working together within a team um, in schools actually help boost teacher satisfaction by alleviating workload. So why is this important? Well, a recent study was conducted and discovered that, 20, that teachers with 30 to 100 hours more of dedicated collaborative planning time scored an average of 21 points higher overall in all their subjects than students whose teachers did not have that time. So this is a huge influencer in not only teacher satisfaction and retention, but also in student achievement. So what's happening in the Bozeman School District? Well, I've been working in conduction, conjunction with them to develop a new plan for the Bozeman School District in regards to a schedule that allows for collaborative planning time to be built in daily. And so these are a couple different models that have been um, created by the Bozeman School District and they are going to be presented to the board in the spring of 2020 to be voted on. So this is a project that is currently underway and it is being, it is, um, being done in school districts all across the country as well, so not just Bozeman. And thank you for watching my presentation.